<laughs> Say hi. Bye. 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 You're probably wondering what's happening with Hello, Mick Swiggins and what's how they with, have progressed. What's happening with Mick Swiggins? The last century. <laughs> Our health is excellent. We switched to filter no. cigarettes so we can live longer. <laughs> Lois and I had cosmetic surgery. Nose, mouth, ears, chin, eyes, neck, etc. The operations were over a two-year period, so now no parts of our bodies are the same age. Charlie dyed his hair blonde about six months ago. He used the generic coloring, so now they call him red. <laughs> we had to send our Rolls Royce back to England. The whiskey cabinet in the back seat would only open when the car was in gear. Lois was on jury duty twice since we saw her last. The Unabomber and the O.J. Simpson trial. She didn't mind being sequestered for the two years. She thought the meals were great. She had all the tea she could drink. We're looking forward to our 50th birthdays. This should be some party. Our children are doing great. Diane graduated magna cum laude <laughs> from medical no. medical school last year. He got a lot of time on his hands, huh? Yeah. The year before, she graduated first in her class from MIT in space engineering. <laughs> in her spare time, she she still practices some law, so, so the law school oh, studies will not go to waste. At the moment, she just has one lawsuit open. It's against the tobacco company. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the federal government, she has four children. I will tell you about them later in this note. Nancy is going great. Three children and one on the way. She's still flying 747 jets to Europe. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, she is... She, <laughs> She has been picked to pilot the next spacecraft <laughs> by NASA. We're looking forward cousin. to our trip to Cape, Cape Kennedy Center later about our children. Susie has one child and one on the way. Last year was a great year for her. She found the cure for the common cold. <laughs> so her doctoral degree, five of them, are paying off handsomely. She is... <laughs> She is close to discovering the cure for baldness. <laughs> oh, and so we wish her luck. She should receive her Nobel Prize, Peace Prize, sometime in June, so we chartered a jet to fly to Switzerland. <laughs> Charles III is still single, but has a new girlfriend. He's in the number, he is the number two man of his company. He probably will become the youngest president in the world of manufacturing. General Motors has asked him if he would design the 2003 model car. He hasn't given them an answer yet. He's waiting for his patent to be approved for an engine that will run on tap water. <laughs> oh, they told him the patent is in the mail. <laughs> we all feel good about this invention. He tried to get the gasoline companies mobile out of Colorado, Texaco to give him research money. They wouldn't even return his calls. Our grandchildren are all doing great. Gregory, 17, a junior in high school, caught the winning touchdown in every game this year. <laughs> He also hit five home runs in one game. <laughs> this is a difficult time for his parents. They have to choose which scholarship to accept among the 200 schools who have sent him offers. Cody, age 11, started playing the guitar last summer. I booked him in the Silver Dome. <laughs> the, sh the show sold out in three hours. 76,000 tickets. <laughs> I told him we will invest the money in stocks. I heard about this young fellow in Seattle named Bill Gates. He has an idea that sounds pretty interesting. We may look into it. Angela, age nine, is in the fourth grade and is a member of the National Science Society. 
The kids are smart today. She wanted to take her SAT test, so we let her. She got 1599 out of 1600 She felt bad about the one she got wrong, so next year, when she takes the test again, she'll get 1600 <laughs> Tiffany, age seven, is taking piano lessons. Her first concert was Christmas with the Boston Pops Orchestra <laughs> at the White House. We were so proud. Mommy, I did too. Yeah. Keely, age eight, auditioned for a Broadway show and got the lead. She also signed a recording contract with RCA. She is presently appearing with the Rockettes while they're here in Michigan. Paul, age four, can speak five languages. <laughs> Russian, Chinese, Mongolian, Arabic, and Japanese. He is so cute and talented. He took his father's car engine apart completely and reassembled the engine with not one part left over. He wants to do our Rolls Royce. We told him to wait till the weather is nicer. Lily Bell is a typical two-year-old studying French. Oh, goodness. Uh, and is a great little cook. Yesterday, she made a standing prime rib roast. Two rare, two medium, and two medium well. Came out perfect. Morgan, our youngest granddaughter, is one year old. She's reading at the eighth grade level and is very talented at picking lottery numbers. She's the best two out of three in the business. As her mind develops, she will speak. She'll be able to pick three out of three. We can hardly wait until that time comes. Great Graham will be 90 this year. Yeah. We're all so proud of her. She took second place in the Pittsburgh Dance Marathon. <laughs> she would have won first, except her partner had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> The year 1999 was a good year for her. She only got two speeding tickets. One was for going 65 in a 25 mile zone. She tried to explain to the officer that she just had her hair done and needed to get to the Steeler game before the kickoff. She's really something else. We are all Y2K ready. But to be on the safe side, we ordered a tractor trailer of Lipton tea bags for both. We have stocked a 30-day supply of necessities. 40 cartons of cigarettes. 100 jars of Hellman's mayonnaise. A case of imported herring. A video movie, Uncle Buck. <laughs> A case of vodka, a case of Canadian club, a case of Russian caviar, a deck of cards, and dice. <laughs> if anything should happen to us, the money is hidden in the backyard. Just look for a pile of leaves, dig there, and help yourself. But don't take more than you can spend. Well, our home in Monaco is almost finished. <laughs> Where? Monaco. Mon Monaco. 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 We should be. Uh, we should be there. Uh, we should be. It should be finished after two years of construction and a thousand changes. Prince Rainier called the other day. <laughs> He's our next door neighbor. <laughs> to tell us the new yacht we ordered is in the harbor. That's about all the news we can think of for now. If you have a chance, write us. And let us know how your family's doing. <laughs> Lois and Chuck. P.S. Our dog won first prize in the New York Kennel Show. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's cute. Oh my God. Oh God. That was great. He's just.